State Patrol says it came loose from that trailer in the southbound lane, sat in traffic until, of course, CSP could get out there and remove it. Ed, they're a lot more fun when they're actually <laughs> on the water. Well, you know, it's illegal to boat on <laughs> I-25. I didn't know if you are aware of that, but uh, maybe we are now. Hey, I'm rolling this satellite and radar back to 10 o'clock last night. Remember we had those storms to the north, just sprinkles in Denver, and then you heard those big boomers we talked about. Here they come right around, well, they, we went right by them, but right around midnight they came right across Denver, and then at 2.30 we saw another batch, and that kept the showers and thunderstorms going for a while, picked up almost a half inch of rain as a result. As we take a look at our hour by hour, this is rolled up till midnight, and you see clear skies all night long. Saturday, just maybe a few showers late in the evening. See, 9 o'clock, maybe a shower or two. Really, that's going to be about it. And as we roll it into Sunday, same thing. If you splash and dash showers, that's all we're going to see. Isolated in nature, so not everybody sees one. Monday, same thing. Maybe a little greater chance for a few scattered showers around here. But once again, they'll be pretty much few and far between. Cooler air is coming down from the north. That's what we saw today, only in the 70s. So we have that cold air coming down from the north, warm, moist air coming up from the south, and they meet right Right along this front and that's down in Oklahoma where they had a severe thunderstorm watch out until 11 o'clock but as we take a look at this big line now we still have some severe thunderstorm warnings the gold boxes and the green boxes are flood warnings because they've had a lot of rain and the thunderstorm watch went until 11 o'clock that is their time 10 o'clock our time and has just been allowed to expire 74 and 75 is what we did today after starts of 53 87 and 56 would be normal 102 from 1990 the record high 40 from 1960 68. For the Weather Watchers, 69s in both Pinewood Springs and Walden. Greeley had 73, 74 and none, 75 in Franktown. Pleasant temperatures, but everybody well below normal for this time of year. We're 69 and 60 right now. Southeast 8 for the wind, 65% humidity. We have a rising barometer. Pretty wildflowers here on Mount Warner from Larry Pierce. You can see those are the columbines. Here's a wildflower right from Peter Burnovic's backyard in Thornton. Pretty shot there. And Shannon Lucan tells us the Adventure Zone is now open and the steamboat ski area. You see the ski area behind it. A beautiful day and the Adventure Zone now open. If you're heading up there, check it out with the kids. Temperatures tonight, mostly 40s, 50s over the eastern plains, 60 degree reading southeast. We'll see 30s and 40s for the high country, 40s, 50s, 60s to the west. And then tomorrow we'll start to warm it up. Back in the 80s over the eastern plains, nearing 90 southeast, 70s and 80s for the mountains, 80s, 90s to the west. All right, here is that Denver forecast for tonight. We'll look for clear skies, 55 and 53, the overnight lows. Tomorrow, fair, warmer. We'll be in the mid 80s, about 10 degrees warmer than we were today. And then for the next several days, jump right into the 90s for Sunday and Monday and the holiday Tuesday. Also Wednesday, you like those 90s? Well, there you go. There you go. 90s all the way into next weekend. That's the way the July Summer's be. back. That's Just right. Just hot. Hot Thanks, 90. Buddy. Thanks, yeah. Dad.